Well, it's cricket time and we are in goal. We are on the papare.com. It's the end of day one of this first test match between Sri Lanka and South Africa. And what a day it turned out to be. Now, Sri Lanka did the right thing by winning the toss and batting first. But my question at 176 for 8 was, has Sri Lanka done justice to their decision to bat first? But then that's where it all started to happen. Dimut Karnaratna, absolutely magnificent 100. He's 800 in test cricket, fourth in the first innings and the second batsman to get a hundred in his 50th test. In fact, the first to do that was Tilakaratna Dilshan, who got twin hundreds against Bangladesh at Chittagong. Now, Sri Lanka's score of 280 plus, 287, I think will be extremely vital. And South Africa, I got the feeling, lost it a little bit. They went a bit flat, the momentum went uh, Sri Lanka's way, and in the end, the South African bowlers were utterly frustrated when Lakshan Sandakan came out and started throwing his bat around in that last we could stand of 60 plus runs. So, how important and how effective will this uh, innings of Dimut Karnaratna and that last wicket stand and the overall score of 287 be going forward in this test match. South Africa 4 for 1 tells you a story. Now one other thing that you shouldn't forget is that this outfield is quite heavy. Now normally at goal the ball tends to travel quite quickly and I believe we can add about another 25 to 30 runs to this 287 and Sri Lanka's score should be around equal to around 310 on day one. So 287 all out, brilliant effort by Sri Lanka and South Africa. I won't say they're in trouble, but let's not forget that they're only playing six batsmen. They're playing two all-rounders and one of them, Maharaj, is just in. So they'll have a lot of work to do and I can tell you they wouldn't want to be chasing too much in the fourth innings of the Test match.